tell you the truth, we don't know anything at all about your university. Could you introduce for us? Sure. So this is Danube University Krems, and Danube University Krems is Austria's 22nd university. It's a state university, but we were founded in um, 1995 as a university. It's a, a very new university. Buildings are, buildings are brand new. Um, part of the building is brand new, part of the building is a little bit older because it used to be a factory. So you will see the old building, which was a factory where cigars are, were manufactured about 100 years ago. And the new part... Did you change the tobacco industry into the uh, <laughs> education industry? That's correct, yes. So that's what we did. And uh, we are a university for postgraduate education. This means that normally our students do already have an academic degree when they come here. So it's the concept of lifelong learning and of continuing education uh, and we have specialized in awarding um, or in, in conducting studies uh, in several fields in health uh, sciences then in the field of education and in the field of economics and uh, globalization so these are our three faculties and at the moment we have about 6200 students um, and um, yeah, it's, it's, as I said, a very young university. We started with 90 students in uh, 1995, so it was quite a steep uh, development. Well, thank you very much. Peter, first of all, I would like to uh, ask you to in introduce yourself. Uh, name and uh, official uh, titles and so on. Yeah, my name is Peter Perichek. I'm working at the Denver University and I'm, um, I'm head of the Center for E-Governance. What are you doing here now? Um, we are doing research in the Center of E-Governance, yeah, in the field of E-Governance and especially in open government and open data and uh, in government 2.0. But we're also doing the, the old kind of, of government 1.0 things and yeah, a lot of projects. If I understood correctly, it is your first conference, isn't it? Oh no, it's not my first conference. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, we, have, um, we have organized several conferences and this is uh, the first time in, in Krems. Uh, and yeah, and it's a lot of fun to, to do that. Because, uh, I have heard about the Asian conference. Yeah, um, this was an idea which, uh, which I had with a colleague uh, when I discussed with him, it was Marco, uh, he's um, from the Singapore um, State University, and um, we said, okay, uh, e-democracy is a very interesting field, um, we should discuss it in Asia. Mm -hmm. uh, and so we are discussing in Asia about e-democracy and open government. I think this will be absolutely brilliant in Singapore. I have seen a name uh, as a participant of conference uh, yeah. uh, from South Africa. Oh yes, um, but unfortunately, I'm um, I'm not sure if he managed um, to come to us because of uh, of the visa problems. Oh. From yeah, but yeah, let's see. Uh, what kind of fields uh, we can divide uh, inside the uh, e-democracy? Um, e-democracy. Um, when we started to to make research, to do research in 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 e-democracy, e we, we very we focused primarily on on e-participation. So how can you use e-participation for, for better results? But in the meantime, it's... Uh, it's can we talk about uh, e-participation, for example, in Bulgaria or South Africa? Yeah, you can, uh, because uh, it's, um, 
you can also talk about e-participation in China because there are some things which, oh. uh, yeah, where you can uh, where you can discuss with the administration and and the citizen how to plan the city. So, and uh, I think there are already some administrations who are willing to discuss with the citizens to get better results. And you also can um, can use collaboration methods for. Um, for getting better better results. For example, we just heard about crowdsourcing. You can use um, technologies and methods um, like crowdsourcing or, 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 or cooperation on, on, on platforms so that you use the knowledge of, of the people and you also can use it in upcoming democracies. And I'm very optimistic for the future. Oh, thank you very much.